So in Black Myth Wukong, there is a vendor you will find once you've taken down the Tiger Vanguard and the Stone Vanguard in Chapter 2. And this guy is going to sell you medicines that give you permanent stat upgrades. So for an example, if you purchase a health one, you're going to get an extra 15 health. And when it comes to the health one, you can have a max of 9 extra upgrades. And then when it comes to things like defense, you can have 18. And you can increase your resistances, your defense, and things like that. But the currency this vendor uses is something called a mind core and at first these might seem quite tough to get your hands on but if you come to rock rest flat which is in chapter two you are going to see a few different enemies within this area and if you follow my exact route so you take down the crystal guy that's like just around the corner from the shrine you're then going to see this big dude that's got a shield and every time you kill this guy there is a chance that he can drop a mind core and I will let you guys know, this can be incredibly inconsistent. It's not a guaranteed drop nowhere near. I've seen people saying every the one to five kills is granting them a mind core. But the first time I got one, I had to kill this guy 12 times. And the second time I got one, I had to kill him like six or seven. But this entire run of killing the stone thing, like the crystal enemy, and then this big guy with the shield, is taking no longer than a minute each time. And there is always the chance that you could have a better drop rate than I have because it's all purely based on RNG. And what you do with the mind cores is you go and visit the vendor down in the cellar underneath the temple, which is unlocked after defeating the tiger and the stone vanguard. And when you are there, you just use the mind cores and you upgrade your stats. So it's going to make you very, very powerful, especially getting an extra 135 health from this guy. So if you are looking to farm mind cores to upgrade your stats, and become way more powerful, this is the best way that I have found so far to do it. And I just want to say again, it can be incredibly inconsistent, so how powerful you become from this depends on how much of a commitment you've got, how much time you want to sit there and do it. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this Mindcore farm in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.